What's going on? Hey, so here's another video, man. Check this out. So we now have a couple different doctors that are speaking out. Uh, one doctor specifically in New York is saying, I don't know if this is the virus that they're talking about that is specific to creating respiratory issues or consistent with a virus that would create respiratory issues and ammonia in the way that it is. What they're saying is, is that the lungs are pumping normally in a lot of these people. The lungs are still operational, but yet the oxygen count in the blood cells is low. What does that mean? It means that this is not the virus that they're actually telling us it is. I'm not saying there's not a virus. There is, I'm sure, a virus. What people don't understand is that 5G is a massive system operating at 60 gigahertz of micro radiation that is undoubtedly affecting the population. Of course, it's affecting the most vulnerable in our population first. That's actually what's happening. Most people don't realize that if you match up a map of all the countries where 5G is being launched, and then you see all the numbers of infection that are the highest, you'll see that it, if you could overlay those maps and just overlay them both, they match up almost identically. Now, I'm going to say one more thing. Here we are in a situation where we have a very opportunistic government. Uh, it's no different than Bush and Obama. The difference is, is Bush passed executive orders that led to Obama's administration that he was able to capitalize on. Uh, Obama passed executive orders that now uh, Trump is able to capitalize on, and Trump is going to do the exact same thing. It doesn't matter if he's in for another four years or whether it's another president. They are going to lay the path for whoever's next in line. Do you understand that? They're all laying the path for whoever's next in line. And so what it does is it creates this ongoing stream of a opportunistic government that never lets a conspiracy go to waste. And if you do your research, you'll see that there's quite a few that have said, never let a conspiracy go to waste. Never let a catastrophe, never let a <laughs> circumstance. They're not letting it go to waste. They are using this to their advantage, to the max. The bottom line is, is that now you have a situation where everyone who is in the country is so confused and freaking scared that they don't know what to do, and that's exactly where they want you. They want you scared. They want you scared. They want you to be stuck because fear is going to make you complacent. It's going to put you in a little box, right here, right there. It's going to put you just in that little box. Here you are. Stay right there in the box. That's where they want all of us. They want us stuck, complacent, and they want to divide. But at the end of the day, what we all need to realize is that between the 5G being rolled out at the same time that this is happening, now there are doctors starting to speak out and say, well, the symptoms and issues of ammonia and respiratory issues and, and issues of the lungs pumping, but yet there's still low oxygen count in the blood cells. And I, I'm talking fast right now, but just understand, those doctors are saying that this is not what people think. This is not what we've been told. It's not the virus that's necessarily doing most of the damage. The damage from the virus is taking out most of our most vulnerable in the population who have immune compromised uh, compromised immune systems or have already chronic illnesses. So it's just really finishing them off. Do you understand what I'm saying? Everybody needs to realize that there's a much bigger picture here. Start with looking up Rashid. Okay, Rashid is a doctor who's been speaking out on Facebook and YouTube and he's somebody who's been quite outspoken about where this all started and that actually the virus actually started here in the United States and was brought to the laboratory in Wuhan um, that, you know, listen, do your research and you're going to see it goes deeper than that. 
but as far as 5G, we're only going to start to get into it. Now, in the next one, I'm going to get into the health implications of 5G and actually the deeper essence of what it means to you and me and the effects on the population. Tune in. Stay tuned for the next one. The truth about 5G, part three. This is this one right here. Next would be part four. The truth about 5G, part four, worldwide. Check it out. Please be sure to like and subscribe. I appreciate all your support. And uh, continue to be vigilant and share information. Knowledge is power.